This place is loaded with raccoons, and today I'm setting three different traps with three different baits, and I'm gonna walk you guys through every bit of it. So as you can see, this is where I was trying to deer hunt, but obviously, I mean, raccoons just kind of took it over. I don't know if this really has any correlation, but whenever the raccoons started showing up in mass, like seven at a time, the deer just quit using it. It might be causation, might be correlation, I don't know. One thing though, we're gonna take out some of these raccoons, and I got three different traps to do it. And three different baits. Let's start with trap number one. The good thing about a cage trap is that you don't need anything else around to set it. You don't need a tree, you don't need a trail, you don't need nothing. We're setting this thing right out here in the open. Literally right here should be as good as it gets. Then I'm gonna pull this thing up to open the door. It opens up and it's already spring loaded, which is good. But whenever I pull it up, I'm gonna put it behind this trigger right there. What that does is actually lifts up this pan that they walk on so that whenever an animal comes back to the back of the trap, steps on the pan, the whole thing should shut and it should lock as far as a raccoon, possum, or skunk is concerned. For bait, super easy. We're going to honey bun. The good thing about these straps is that they're completely harmless to humans. Like you can't hurt yourself at all. And you also can't really hurt any animal. So if you accidentally catch a dog, catch a cat, doesn't matter. You just let, open the door and let it out. So if you're working in like a subdivision or something, you can set this and you're probably not gonna have a hard time about it. But I got the bait in the back, come back, set the trigger, boom, this trap's ready to rock and roll. What I will do though, you definitely don't have to do this, but I'm gonna take some of this grass and kind of put it at the back of this trap just so that the raccoons don't try as hard to just reach in and grab it. And that there is completely set. It is good to go. This is a dog proof raccoon trap and just like the name says, it'll catch a raccoon, but it can't catch a dog. And let me show you how. So to set this thing, you push down this, which is actually the jaws of the trap, and you pull this lever down and set it on this trigger. Now what makes this so special is that in order to set this trap off, they actually have to reach down in this tube. And can you see the little round trigger in there? The only way this thing goes off of is something reaches down in the hole, grabs the trigger and pulls up on it. That's why a dog can't put it off because the dog don't have fingers. All he can do is push down and if he just wants to push down, it won't go off, but he has to pull up. And that is whenever a raccoon's hand will get stuck right in but there between the pop and this little metal jaw. And yeah, pretty much just hold them there until we get back. These are also really good around houses and pets because like I said, they only catch raccoons. You can bait these up with a lot of things. I prefer dog food because it's quick and easy. You can either stake these in the ground with that swivel or I built this little wire thing so I can actually wrap it around a tree. I'm gonna do this tree right here because you can already see the coons have this thing wore out, a trail coming down here. So if I can get this trap as close to the trail as possible, that's gonna be a pretty safe bet. We can probably catch one. And now I'll just come around, wrap this up. And this is just my way that I've came up to anchor these traps. As long as you have them anchored with a stake or anything, it's, you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this trap just like that. Set it. It's got a little stake built in so I can just push it down into the ground, nice and sturdy. And then pulling out some dog food and drizzling it, whatever you want to call it, right down the bottom of the trap. And we'll leave a few on the outside. That trap's good to go. May have a raccoon here tomorrow, who knows. And now we're moving on to the third trap. And this is a trap I've actually never caught anything with. It's called a conibear or a body grip trap, and it's actually illegal in a decent amount of states. And it's because they kill anything immediately. That trap, nothing dies. They go in it, you get a cat, it goes by, no problem. The dog proof trap, you can't catch a dog in it. If you did, you let it go. This thing, whatever walks through this square, dies immediately. No questions asked, just how it is. But with these things, as long as you set them in the right spot and you're pretty confident that your target animal's walking through the area, you're totally fine anyhow. Like this right here, you can see that trail is absolutely wore out. And if you take a closer look, you can actually see there's raccoon prints all in it. So that lets me know, hey, this is a raccoon trail. Now to set it, I actually gotta have these big trap setters, pretty much big levers. I'm gonna grab this spring, see that? I'm gonna squeeze it closed. And then I'm gonna come over and put the safety on it so that that keeps it open. I'm gonna let that go. Pull out this other one. Do the same thing, put that safety on. Now I got it to where I can set the trap. This is what the animal has to touch to set it off. This is the trigger. So I'm gonna go ahead, squeeze this thing together. As you can see, I can put this thing has notches right across that so that whenever something comes and touches it, boom, 
it lets it go and it slams straight onto whatever you set it for. For me, I'm gonna set it just about like that. Come through on that second setting. As soon as I take these safeties off, whatever goes through there gets hit. But we're not gonna take the safeties off until we're ready to leave the trap. And what better place to set it than this trail right here. This should be about as perfect as it gets. I'm gonna set that on the ground just like that. And don't worry, we're gonna make it deer proof right here in a second. And you may be wondering, what is the bait we're using for this trap? There is no bait because we're just setting it on a path they're already going. This is called a blind set. You don't need no bait. We're just counting on the critters passing through here and stepping where they've always stepped. I'm gonna use this little tree as a little guide rod. This little stick is not only gonna hold our trap in position, but it's also gonna guide the animals right into the trap where we want them to actually be. That right there is pretty good. How are we gonna make it deer proof? Let me show you. Obviously, a deer is gonna see that and he's probably gonna step over it, but we're gonna make sure that he steps over it by taking a little big old stick like this and somehow we're gonna lay it like this so that any big animals are not gonna go under it, they're gonna step over it. That's pretty close to being perfect. I can make it better. Now, a deer will lift its leg and step over that where something smaller like a raccoon or possum probably just run straight through it and that's when they're gonna get clapped. I will be back in the morning to see if we caught anything overnight. But as for now, our job is done. Oh, I almost forgot something very important. And that's to take these safeties off. If you don't take the safeties off this con of bear, you will not catch anything. And I've forgotten to do that before. And I've missed animals before. You know, in the beginning, didn't I say I've never caught one on one of these? I've caught a beaver. Only one though, hoping this is number two. Not a professional trapper either, but this is the basis, I guess. Okay, now we go home and wait. Hopefully we catch some. All right guys, it's been about two days since we set these traps and I think we got something. As I'm walking up, I can see something right here in the cage trap, but I don't think that's a raccoon. I think that's a possum. Well, I know it's a possum. This is weird. I'm just gonna be honest. This is pretty weird. Like not the fact that we're catching yeah, it is the fact that we're catching possum. This is a raccoon infestation. There was literally like seven here a week ago. And even last night, we can check the trail cam footage. There were still raccoons here last night. But for whatever reason, they pass up our honey buns and eat my little deer block. What? Why? Why? I don't know. It's confusing me. Like, I just seriously can't tell you in what world can we not catch a raccoon with honey buns? Not to mention I got dog food over there and they pass it up too. Walk past it every single day just to come here and eat the little moldy deer feet. I don't really know what's going on, but this is weird. I'm gonna take care of this possum and I brought some more dog food. I guess I'm gonna put some in here and rebate the dog proof. But uh, yeah, this is kind of weird. I'm supposed to be coon trapping and I've not caught anything but possums. But oh well, I guess that's trapping. At least we caught something. On day three, we didn't catch anything in our traps, so we decided to go and put new traps in a different area that also has some raccoon problems. All right, guys, right here is the spot. You can look in the, you can look in the leaves. It's kind of tuffed up a little bit. I've had some feed out here. Coons have been absolutely ransacking. I'm talking eight at a time. Well, we're gonna set some traps, move these raccoons out here, and at the same time, we're gonna be trying a special bait. Honey buns, all right? There's five left, because I ate one. That, that math don't add up. That was a new box earlier. You said you ate one and there's only five left. Well, let me show you how we're gonna set these traps. It's super simple. Raccoons aren't the smartest animal in the world. I'm gonna take my trap, kind of move it around the leaves a little bit, get it a good solid bottom. Pull this thing up, come in here, set the trap. This is a cage trap. The way that it works is when the animal comes in here, back to the bait, steps on this pan, it closes the door and he's not able to get out. Super simple and super effective. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the trap just like normal, put a honey bun right back here in the back. They can't resist that. They can't resist it. We're setting four traps. I wouldn't be surprised if we have four raccoons in the morning. All right. And uh, yeah, literally, there we go. And to make it all even better, we're setting up a cagey trail camera so that whatever happens, we're gonna be able to see. We'll catch you guys in the morning.
guys, it's the next day and we got one. I'm not trying to be too loud because if you look closely, he's actually asleep right now. It's pretty crazy because you can look, the trap was right here. He done all kinds of crazy stuff and even knocked it over. Raccoons are super tough animals. They're not super smart, but they are super curious, okay? So they'll push and pull and grab literally everything they can. And it's not super common, but I've actually had raccoons reach their hands out of the trap, reach over here, let the door down and let themselves out just because they're that good with their hands. Hello, raccoon. Uh-oh, he's awake. Hello, raccoon, how you doing? How you doing, raccoon? How did you have a good day? How did you like the honey bun? Pretty good? Cool. All right, we'll flip your cage over. There we go. And I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I definitely thought that I would come back today and have four raccoons right here, especially since on trail camera, we had seven at one time. But yeah, this raccoon right here, not bad. We ain't cleaning out the whole pack, but hey, catching one raccoon, at least that's one less raccoon that can actually eat her corn and mess up her deer hunting a little bit. Uh-oh. But as for this old raccoon, we're moving him out. Here we go. guys we came out here we checked the traps yesterday didn't have anything but today we got something i think because there's fur over there but straight up as for this trap the live trap i ain't got a clue how nothing has hit a honey bun laced with dog food but it hasn't nevertheless we turn around to the con bear this is the first animal i think i've ever caught in a con bear besides a beaver and i don't think we're going to need the 22 on this one this dude's already done and a lot of states con bears can't be set on land at all so this will be illegal in a lot of states in kentucky this trap is small enough it's not a problem at all and i'm gonna go ahead and pull him out you can see i put it right here on this path he walked through he got clapped. What's interesting is that he did come from this direction. He definitely passed up the honey bun. Here's the thing though, you don't know what that possum's motive is. May not have been food. He could have been wearing this trail out. We can tell he has with all the tracks, but for this possum, I'm gonna say that his motive was not necessarily food but it clapped him right there. I don't think a conor bear is gonna be my number one go-to trap for possums and coons, but at the same time, he did pass up a honey bun and we did catch him in the conor bear. So maybe if it's breeding season or something, conor bear might have to be the move because, well, this is what he hit. Oh God. It's pretty good. He pretty much died instantly, which is always a nice thing. There we go. And then we open up the trap. He should fall right out. And that there is our conor bear. It worked exactly the way it's supposed to. Put it up in a trail, walked right through it. And here we go, we got a possum. Pretty decent possum too. I'm pretty much overran with these things. I thought I had more raccoons than possums, but I've not hardly caught anything but possums in this spot. Caught that raccoon up there in that other little segment, but in this spot, I don't know, it's just a lot of possums. And it took us two days to catch him. So I honestly think we're probably done trapping here for a little bit. Even over here at the dog proof, which I think is wild that nothing's ate it. We've not just not got anything. All the dog food's still here. It's the beginning of January is when this is being filmed. And it really, I don't really think it should be their breeding season yet. I understand in breeding season, they're probably not as worried about food, but I don't think it is yet. Weird. Either way, this video was a definite success. I think we ended up catching a raccoon and a possum in the cage trap. We didn't catch anything in the dog proof and we caught something in the conor bear. So that's a pretty awesome thing to see. A lot of traps working in a lot of different ways. But overall, we took out a coon and two possums in this video. That's not bad. That'll save a lot of turkeys. And um, yeah, I'm pulling these traps because I ain't catching nothing here. I'm moving to a no location. We're gonna go find somewhere else. Click right here if you want to see a beaver trapping video from a few years ago, or right over here for the ultimate squirrel hunting air gun. Or is it?